Have you ever wondered why you may have sometimes really wanted something but it never materialized? Or had a goal but didn't manage to achieve it? Today, we're gonna tell you why this happens and how to overcome it. And that's all gonna start right now. What's going on guys? Another week and yes, another episode of the Frank and Gordon Show where our purpose is to help the ambitious become more confident, credible and activated in whatever they do. Today, we're going to discuss the all important law of suggestion. And after watching this video, you're going to understand how easy it is to turn your goals into reality. Now, just before we kick things off, don't forget to smash that subscribe button Tick that bell to get notified with any new upcoming videos. And finally, don't forget to give this video the thumbs up. People tend to doubt that their thoughts will become reality. And they won't. If you just think of wanting something, if you just think you would like something, it most probably won't happen. But there's no doubt that if the focus, the energy and the correct emotion is there, you'll create the environment that is conducive to those thoughts becoming a reality. So long as your goals and desires are within the realm of possibility, one can ensure that their thoughts will become reality by applying the law of suggestion. The law of suggestion is sometimes referred to as auto-suggestion or self-suggestion and is a method of suggesting positive thoughts, ideas and goals from the conscious mind to the subconscious mind. The conscious mind is the part of the mind that has to do with the things that you're aware of and are consciously thinking about. Your subconscious mind is the seat of action. It's the part of the mind that when alerted and convinced will formulate and deliver to you a plan for you to put into action. Once your subconscious mind figures out a plan, It'll work tirelessly to attract people and situations in your life that are needed to help you on your journey to translate your thoughts into reality. Your positive belief system will help you to become creative in coming up with ways to make things happen. There are a number of ways to implement the law of suggestion by literally programming your mind. The law works when you effectively suggest thoughts to your subconscious mind, which will then be translated into reality. Now listen to this. The law of suggestion is put into practice through repetition of thoughts that are charged with emotion and belief. When you hear something repeated often enough, you will begin to believe it. So it is with the subconscious mind, when you repeat a thought often enough, your subconscious mind will eventually believe it. Repeating thoughts or goals to yourself is one way of communicating a message to your subconscious mind. You've got to use repetition to convince your subconscious mind that you deeply believe and have the faith that you will receive what it is that you desire. For you to suggest and successfully communicate thoughts and goals to your subconscious mind, your thoughts must be charged and fired up with emotion, feeling and faith. Have a burning desire for your goal or whatever it is that you want to become a reality. Be obsessed by a goal, get excited over it and believe that it will become a reality. This is what charges your thoughts. The better charged your thoughts are, the more successfully they will be communicated and will be received by your subconscious mind. When you repeat thoughts and goals to yourself, it is much more effective to speak them so that you can hear them. As you speak or read thoughts and goals, it's important to inject proper feeling and emotion. You can do this by using voice variation and inflection as you emphasize important aspects. The technique of autosuggestion was developed by a French psychologist and physician called Emile Couet, who lived between the late 1800s and the early 1900s. And as a physician, he devised a technique, this technique, because he wanted his patients to heal themselves. He encouraged them to repeat an expression 20 to 30 times when one wakes up in the morning and again before sleeping at night at the end of the day. The expression, which was to be repeated up to 60 times a day, is this. Every day and in every way I am getting better and better. Should we say that again? Let's do this. 
Every day and in every way, I'm I am getting, getting better and better. Kuwait's method relied on the belief that an idea that occupies subconscious mind can turn into reality. He understood that this positive expression needed to be communicated from the conscious mind, where conscious thoughts take place, to the subconscious mind, which is the seat of action. Kuwait understood that since the subconscious mind is the seat of action, this part of the mind must be sufficiently stimulated to come to accept the desire so that it can work on translating that desire into its physical equivalent. Now we can make this law work for us in any area of life. When the subconscious mind accepts a thought, if it accepts a desire or a goal, it will immediately get to work on a plan to attract people, influences and situations into your life that will help to turn that thought, that desire or goal into reality. Now it's not always easy and will sometimes take time. This is why thoughts must be fired up with emotion, feeling and belief. Indifferent or lifeless thoughts will not be communicated to the subconscious mind as so will not be translated into reality. For your thoughts or goals and dreams to be communicated to your subconscious mind, they must be persevering and must mean a lot to you. In other words, your thoughts must be charged with emotion. Get excited about your goal, get fired up with vitality and energy, and importantly, believe that your goal will become reality. How often have you thought that you would like to do or obtain something, but never got around doing it? This is because those thoughts were shallow and not charged, with burning desire and excitement. They lacked vitality and you were probably not convinced in your ability that they would materialize. As a result, these thoughts were lifeless and not effectively communicated to your subconscious mind. Now think of something for which you might have had a burning desire and passion. What goal did you have in the past that you deeply desired, that you got excited about and that you visualized in your mind's eye as to already having in your possession because you so desperately desired it? It could have been a job, a relationship, a car or whatever else you deeply desired. What was once a goal that at one point in your life meant so much to you that the strong desire was communicated to your subconscious mind which immediately got to work on finding creative ways to ensure that your goal was turned to reality. Okay, let's give an example on this. Those who are dating or are married will easily recall that moment that they first set eyes on the one they believed was the love of their life. The scenario of dating the other person overwhelmingly consumed their thoughts. They were dominant thoughts, which were fired up with emotion, such as love, desire, and so on. Because these thoughts were supercharged with emotion, they were successfully communicated to the subconscious mind, which wasted no time in creating imaginative ways to implement various works to attract the other person. No stone was left unturned in pursuing their aim until that goal was realized in their life. The same sequence of events could easily be applied to any desire that is translated into reality. For example, a person who deeply desired and bought a new car or went away on a special holiday would have got so excited about their dream that they supercharged their thoughts with emotion, which could have been desire or excitement, and turned their dream into reality. This type of supercharged thought is the type which the conscious mind will effectively communicate to the subconscious mind. These are the thoughts that make a difference. These are the thoughts which are filled with excitement and are ultimately the thoughts that are acted upon. Be aware that the subconscious mind makes no distinction between the good and the bad, or the right or the wrong. It simply gets to work on the dominant thoughts that are charged with emotion. This means that you must unequivocally fight and resist any negative thoughts which you do not want to be translated into reality in your life. Strictly guard your mind against human nature. Guard your mind against hatred, fear, jealousy, laziness, criticism, accusations, suspicion, envy, anger and seditions. Bottom line, negative thoughts destroy the chance of success. Allowed to fester in the mind, these negative thoughts and emotions will control you rather than allow you to be in control. Allowing negative thoughts 
into the mind will result in you being in subjection to them rather than you being in control of your destiny. Now these negative emotions seem to find their way into the subconscious mind with a certain amount of ease. This will result in failure if not resisted and rejected. Left to its devices, human nature will not honor or respect you or your desired goals but will work against them. It's because of this that negative emotions and thoughts must be kept under the strictest control and immediately rejected. To succeed, prepare yourself to keep away from those that manifest these works. Remove yourself from them and don't entertain negative situations as they will sooner or later lead you to compromise. Let's just say this again for emphasis. To make the law of suggestion work for you, you must suggest thoughts and instructions to your subconscious mind. After rejecting negativity, work at replacing it with positivity. Draw upon positive thoughts and emotions such as joy, peace, patience, faith, humility, enthusiasm, desire and self-control. Fill your mind and fire it up with positivity as you work to become more conscious of your goals. Positive thoughts must be, they must be dominant in your mind so that they could positively influence your subconscious through suggestion. You can gain control over your subconscious mind by resisting negativity and replacing it with positivity. Immerse your mind in positive thoughts about your goals, strengthening your belief that they will in fact become a reality. Change your want into a burning desire. You will find that if by nature you are easily excitable, it will be easier and quicker for you to charge your thoughts with emotion, feeling and belief. In this case, you will be prone to act quickly and will find it easier to allow nothing to get in your way. You will also sooner see results become a reality in your life. If by nature you are a more relaxed and laid back person, you will need to work harder to ignite the passion needed to supercharge your thoughts. This simply means that you have to concentrate and put much more effort into getting excited about your goals and desires. If you've got goals and dreams which you want to translate into reality, you must charge your thoughts with emotion, with feeling and belief, again, if you're to see your goals translate into reality. Above all, you must unequivocally strive to eliminate negativity from your mind. Make Emil Kuez's formula work for you. Successfully communicate your desires to your subconscious mind by using and putting into practice the following steps. So, point number one. Repeat your positive desires and your goals 20 to 30 times twice daily. Once in the morning when your mind is fresh and again before going to bed at night so that it's the last thing to enter your mind. Number two, read or state your goals aloud so that you can suggest them to your subconscious mind and it can literally hear your desires. Number three, inject emotion and passion into your words. Put energy and excitement, feeling and meaning into your words. This can be done by believing that your words will translate into reality. Charging your words with emotion is vital as it's only through this kind of meaningful communication that your desires will be effectively communicated, recognized and acted upon by your subconscious mind. Number four, be persistent. Apply these steps with persistence until you succeed in communicating them to your subconscious mind. Expect your subconscious mind to create a plan for you to implement. Number five, act immediately on the plans to translate your desire into reality. As soon as you receive the plans from your subconscious mind, waste no time to implement them. Once you start, Keep the momentum going and don't slow down. Okay guys, well that's all we got for you guys today. We thank you all for watching and for following us on social media. Now if you found this video helpful, feel free to share it with others. Until next time, remember that your mind is your driving seat. It's imperative that you understand how it works. Take control of it by building a relationship with it. Because if you don't do this, the negative outside forces will win the battle for your mind. In this case, your mind will control you and lead you down that negative path rather than the other way around. So, take control of your mind. 
Train yourself to powerfully work with your subconscious mind through the law of suggestion and you'll begin to see results that will totally astound you. And on that note, see you all next time.